All right, Derek Young and K-State Online here, back with 90 seconds, this time with Kansas State running back James Gilbert. Obviously, you're a transfer, ended up at K-State. Were there any other Power 5 options you considered at the time? Um, there were a couple Power 5 options that reached out, but, um, you know, when you do business with somebody, you don't, like, do stuff like that. So Coach Kleiman already sent the paperwork to me, so I signed it, and it was a done deal. I wasn't talking to any other school, so, yeah. Okay, uh, in the running back room, who's the guy you learned the most from? Uh, obviously, you're one of the older guys, and it's a new room almost completely, but who's the one you learned the most from? Um, I learned a lot from, you know, the older guys and the uh, younger guys, but if I had to say one player in particular, I'd say probably Harry Trotter. You know, any time uh, he does something, I'd say, why did you do that, or why did you make that decision, stuff like that, so I'd say Harry Trotter. Okay, and if there's one running back that's definitely faster than you in that running back room, who is it? <laughs> it had to be between Joe Irvin or Jordan Brown. Those guys were speedsters and scat bats or our offense, so between those two. Okay, and if you needed a home-cooked meal here <laughs> at, at Kansas State on campus, who's cooking it for you? Um, like anybody? Anybody. I had to say Coach Anderson. <laughs> he, made, he made some good food, so probably him. <laughs> okay, and if you had to trust a player to make it, who would it be? A teammate? Um, probably Denzel Goosby. I feel like he's a good cook. <laughs> uh, okay, and if you had to play another sport besides football, what would it be? Man, I'll probably play baseball, man. If I could do it all over again, I'd probably play baseball. Were you pretty good at baseball? Not really. I had some bad experience when I first came to the game. Guy got hit in the hit in the eye with a ball, so I was like, nah, this is not for me. But um, I feel like I should have gave it a try. I probably would have been good at it. Okay. So. And were you always a running back? Um, Pee-wee, you know, you play a lot of different positions. But, like, going from middle school to high school, I always played running back. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, you had... I've heard you overheard you. You had games at Texas A&M and games at Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. How's the environment at Kansas State comparison to the, those schools? Man, the environment is unbelievable, man. Just coming out, seeing like 50 plus thousand fans, you know, it's, it's unbelievable. I can't even explain it, but uh, we feed off their energy. They get us going throughout the game, and I feel like having that throughout the season is going to give us a lot of wins at home. So Okay, and once you got the paperwork in to, to be a Kansas State Wildcat, how quick did you peek at the schedule to see who was going to be on it? Uh, as soon as I as soon as I, I signed it, I looked at who's going to be their non-conference opponents, and um, you know this game I've been waiting for to showcase uh, what I can do and what we can do as a football team. So we're all excited, and we can't wait Saturday to come. Okay, and last question, but truthfully, have you guys peaked at Mississippi State at all before this week? Ah, uh, no, no, no. You know we took care of our first two opponents first before we even looked at this team because if we would have did that, we probably wouldn't have the results we wanted the first two weeks. So um, everything's focused on Mississippi State now, and that's what we're going to do. All right, thanks, Jane. So I'm Derek Young, K-State Online. Tell your friends. <laughs>